you doing? This is BK for ManForce.com, ManForce Media, reporting on what's going on. It's 11.46 a.m. Uh, on Saturday, May 9th, 2020, in downtown Toronto, Canada. And I'm just east of Church in Carleton. Um, and at ManForce.com, ManForce Media, I'm promoting polite patriotism to help nice ladies and gents worldwide, offline, locally teach kids to look, talk, and feel great, and help the same polite patriots locally discuss and share great online info they find offline as better people making better places to live. So, um, uh, currently I'm walking towards the uh, sort of Queen's Park protest against the uh, coronavirus uh, COVID-1984 pandemic lockdowns. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, how the rude, sketchy zombiosis uh, is something that we've got to beat as well. Where people act rude and sketchy with people they know, then they have to act rude and sketchy back, and they can't do much with each other. Then they wander around looking for nice people to bother to make them rude, sketchy zombies too. And that makes it hard to be nice, look at, talk to, listen to people. And so that's mostly what people do for their, their social life is run shaking near people who don't like it. And you should politely ignore it, like we have for, for years. You used to see it once in a while, every few months. Now you can see it every few seconds. But you politely ignore it. Uh, hopefully they calm down. You can respect each other. People you know, but strangers, obviously, politely ignore it. Have a little self-respect. Mind your business. Play my song, Fight Club, right now as well. Classic. That uh, a lot of people like. Um, and I know since I was a kid, with uh, poor, sketchy people, couldn't explain why they were worked up. You didn't get involved. And they are doing that, especially with strangers. You don't want to feel guilty and embarrassed and lie and argue. Since I was a kid, say on the subway, the poor, sketchy person, not a normal, polite Canadian, not a normal, polite Canadian homeless person, not even a normal, polite Canadian mentally ill person but the worked up, put up with me, you're not going to like it type, uh, you know, what we would used to do is we used to look down, look at our newspaper and look away, and they'd finish running around the subway shaking, spazzing out, all worked up, couldn't explain why or anything, and they'd run away, and everyone's happy they're gone. They might be ignored and want to stop, uh, instead of making you both uncomfortable, making sure, you know, you don't like them. Uh, you know, people around are all happy, uh, they can relax and mind their business, or, or know it's safe to get along with you, it's safe to be nice to you, it's not a waste of time. Uh, and you have a little self-respect. You're not a mess for yourself or other people, uh, you know, if you politely ignore it. So that's the best thing to do. So right now we'll take a walk towards the, um, the college, um, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Queen's Park uh, protest, and we'll see what's going on. Now I put on my gloves. It's cold as hell today. Um, so give me a sec. my little Sony for this will save the GoPro for the actual protest and uh, let's see what's going on. So walking west of Carlton Street towards Church Street. Let's see if there's any Here at Church in Carlton. And a green light oh. So whoop, let's do that and fine, it will feel better. And see. There you go. So you should all have zombie apocalypse prevention technology on your newspaper or glove package, laminated sign, say manforwars.com, relax or whatever. And uh and good to go. Otherwise, that's sort of the social life. Right? Yeah, you see once in a while, like I said, too many's not good. A few here and there is okay. Right? You don't bother them back, bother everybody else, nobody likes that. I was being bothered by that. Nobody likes it. So. <clears throat> put this in the other pocket so it's uh, over my filming hand. Not blocked as much when I raise.
Get all some stuff in. It's not personal. You can't do anything else near people. So, I think it's okay. It's slightly annoying. It's happy. I don't think it's your wife or something. How do you get temper tantrum? No, you'd be embarrassed for that. Uh, people know you have nothing to do with it. Slightly annoyed. Everyone's happy they're gone. Even they're happy they're gone. They don't want to do much near people. They just run near you, shake, and run away. They're not going to like it. You guys think? Once in a while. Yeah. They can't do much near people. They bother you for no reason. You can't be nice, look at, talk to them much. So then they have to do it near strangers. Even they don't like it. Nobody likes it. They just do it near you for a second and run away. Slightly ignored. Best thing to do, you know, and strangers. A nice, polite game thing to do. Nobody bothers anybody. Nobody cares. <laughs> you can't say you live in a big city, you haven't seen it here and there. Just too much is not good. Not good for kids, family, friends. So, uh, you're finished. 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 Body, you don't care about you, you don't care about them, you bother them. It's not, it's not. It's well, you know. so it might be part of this plan here, too, at 40 College Street, just uh west of Young and College. There's three Masonic statues here. One on the north corner. This is Toronto Police Services headquarters. One on the north corner is a man with uh, bricks on one shoulder, books on the other, kind of standing there holding them like that. And uh, so that's one. Another one on the northwest corner has a little boy pulling a trolley. A little boy's pulling a trolley. It's got a Washington Monument style tall obelisk on it. A little pyramid on top. And you've got this hermaphrodite cop finishing a pyramid. Now keep in mind, this cop doesn't look like Batman. Uh, this cop has broad shoulders and pyramid cop doing good stuff. It's a hermaphrodite. Instead of half man, half woman, pretty sure I'll quickly show you that. So this is the pyramid. Definitely have a referendum or vote on some of this stuff, uh, you know, in Canada and worldwide. Um, but this is an agenda. But there's a couple of bricks left, and you can see. Excuse me, uh, a little something in my eye to. So here's a small trowel, small hands, mine are bigger than this guy's even though we're about the same size. Slim arms, slim shoulders, slim torso, thick bubbly legs and butt. So it could be kind of like a crossfit chick for a guy, whatever. And yeah, uh, there's longish hair past the collar, longish sideburns, haunted quiet look on their face. And 
sticking the butt out, leading forward. So this might be part of this plan. Jesus, I'm sorry. Which is definitely something that we should uh, we should you know reconsider. So let's continue. Too close, no contacts. I got the newspaper, uh, the Lux Pack, the Manforce.com sound. So, pretty prepared. You just don't lose your self respect, take other people's, don't be a mess or whatever. Just quietly ignore. That's your social life. You know, hopefully they can stop. Otherwise, what else are they doing here, people, right? So. Gentlemen, you your wife or something, having some temper tantrum while you're impotent, you're all sketchy, you messed up. Can't say or do anything. Everyone around's uncomfortable. Oh, yeah, you got that. Everybody's good, though. It looks nice and sunny, but it is really cold. I don't know if they got some weather modifications done. I know farmers supposedly can uh, fly planes and see clouds and make it rain. So these guys might be keeping it extra cold to keep us inside more. If there's some people uh, in charge of this COVID-19 before pandemic that are have that type of power and influence. Like zombies in a zombie movie, they look for people that are uh, acting like humans, They're busy or nice or happy or looking at top of the people. And they start running, but just like zombies in movies know you're not going to like being turned into a zombie. They're like running to attack, to try and force you to put up with them, disturb you, bother you, work up, weird sketching, ugly, whatever, stressful, confusing. And uh, they also like to ignore the crap done and want to stop. And so that's sort of my major contribution to this is that, uh, you don't have to, okay, do I, they don't even like, nobody likes it, even when they do it, a lot of times they look away when they're worked up bothering you because they're worried about you worked up bothering them back, so they don't want to see it, you don't want to see it, so. You see the excitement? It's just like in like 28 Days Later or World War Z or Walking Dead, or they just get in see somebody, you know, acting like a human. Other people looking there are not miserable, sullen, quiet, you know, because you can't really do much else with people and get excited about other people. Gentlemen, Approaching College and University, uh, filmed uh, a few days here, about four days or so, uh, with uh, empty hospital districts, uh, empty parking lots, very little activity going on. So, a uh, big overblown crisis. Uh, and people are doing this around the world, it's been exposed to this and so on. So, um, so online is great. We make sure we can uh, respect each other and talk offline, not be sort of uh, 
pro free speech online. We gotta do something. That anti free speech, sketchy zombies, making everyone sketchy zombies can't do much else offline. No relation. But at this point, unfortunately, I put up with them. They know you're not going to like it. Can't really do anything else with it. See? I guess, again, it's not your wife or girlfriend. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. There's nothing to be ashamed of. You know, there's no, there's no reason for them to be a mess while you're impotent. Or yeah, impotent while they're a mess or vice versa or anything. So, uh, we'll, in, uh, we'll finish up. So this is College and University, Toronto Healthcare District. Again, I've uh, filmed a, a bit of. Um, now we'll take a look towards the uh, Queen's Park. Hey, little birdie. Yeah, birds, people. It, it was really nice to me otherwise, believe me. We, we see a night before you bother you for no reason. They don't have to bother you for no reason. People are super nice, and so it's best to politely ignore it. And uh, hopefully they can stop. If not, that's your social life. And can't do much with people they know than do it near strangers. Politely ignore it. And, you know, things turn out like that sometimes, especially in a big city. So. We're walking up towards Queen's Park. And there's some police officers there. There you go. And some more officers here. Seems reasonably safe issue. Normally, like jaywalking in front of the cops, you know, it's whatever. But, you know, in this case, once in a while, who cares? There you go. So, this is a no relation. I know, it's just Chris. I hope it's. How you doing? So, this is beginning of the Toronto Queen's Park protest. Hey Mark, what's going on? This is your first film. Ah, the walk up here. Ah, how you doing? Number of cops out, man. Yeah, well maybe they'll learn something if we uh, if we're not too obnoxious. <laughs> so there is David Menzies from Rebel Media. How you doing, brother? Good to see you again, Mr. Yannis. What's up? Hey, it's a little cold today, but otherwise not too bad. Oh, it's all good. Yeah. So far, turning into communist China, but, uh, you know, but uh, we're, we're, we're working on that. How you doing? Mm -hmm. What's up? Mm -hmm. On my flag. Yes, I'm very, very happy you got that reaction because Ford's been a sellout. Uh, he's peacing on the economy. He's a sellout. Sex ed, pervert the kids, you know. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he, you know, he's, he's, he's not he's not living up to the uh, principles that uh, we elected him to, 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 to hold, hold up. So, cool, man. What? Yeah. Well, you know, all, most politicians are, and you know, I, 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 uh, I know where you're coming from on that. All right. I'll do a little, a, a little B-roll here, and then I'm going to switch to my GoPro. Give me a sec. There. Cops 
Tabs there. Tabs there. I think we're polite patriots, you know, the, the, the samurai work for the king. And uh, and so, you know, hopefully they do a good job, even the king's corrupt. And then you got the ronin, the masterless samurai, who also try and serve and protect, you know, sort of, uh, you know, where they live. And uh, so we typically don't bother each other unless we have to, because we're not the sort of Antifa, commie zombie, daddy even love me, hate everybody, destroy everything kind of people, you know. So we're, we're often on the same side, and so uh, typically usually goes okay. Um, and that's important to note. You know, sometimes, you know, they do something stupid, we got to say something. They do something stupid, they got to say something, do something. But otherwise, eh. You know, so it is what it is. And so... There's a man tracking car attention. There's another shot here. So... Again, it's just to ignore it. Hopefully they can stop. Otherwise, they're going to get other people. Rick Sketchy, anti free speech zombies offline. We're making everywhere Rick Sketchy, anti free speech zombies. We're going to be able to put up with himself. It's a lot of way to know it. Nice to safety, nice to each other. Well, I'll go finish. You know, you see it once in a while in Toronto. You know, people, poor sketchy people can't do much. People they know, of course, you put up with them. Can't really do much after that. And so, you quietly ignore it, and then, uh, and then hopefully they calm down and respect each other. Maybe next time, maybe the next one. You cool with. But, uh, well, it's all good, you know. There's a professional camera here. From. Oh, that's good. So, how you doing? So this is a protesto. Let's take a look a little further up and see if there's any more activity there. And then we'll get the well, again, you quietly ignore it, and hopefully they can stop. Otherwise, you can't be pro-free speech online, and rude sketchy, anti-free speech zombie offline. Make it hard for anybody to do anything else. And, uh, it's okay. It's only being politely ignored. It might be bothering you guys. Don't bother back. Don't bother anybody. Don't try to help the strangers. And, uh, then people can, can, can get along, respect each other, and so on. Instead of making it hard to do that anywhere except on the internet. It's not hard to do on the internet. So, yeah, when they get worked up, of course you put up with them, they don't care about you, and you get worked up by the back, you don't care about them, right? You better politely ignore it. It becomes easier to do other things besides doing that with people you know, you can't do much else than doing it with strangers. So it's the best brainwashing in history. You know, uh, formerly world famous, nice, polite Canadians being turned into rude, sketchy zombies offline. Other people they know they do much else with each other than go bother strangers, make it hard to be nice, look at, talk to people. It's like a kid puts a stick in dog poo and runs up and tricks people looking at it. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna like this. Eventually, you don't want to pay attention to do much with them anymore, right? So that's just happening to people with each other, with this sort of mass zombiosis. And a lot of it is because uh, men were discouraged from talking. They wanted to get looked at. Just a small percentage several years ago. And they didn't want to look at each other, so they sexually harassed each other. to speed up, you know, all the normal things. A girl walks slow, look cool, try and feel hot. Guys don't want to look at each other, so they speed it all up and try and force you to trick each other into looking at it. But they don't want to look at each other, so they jealously harass girls and kids, try and steal their attention. Uh, and then everyone can't be nice and respect each other, because if anybody does be nice and look at, talk to each other, somebody acts sketchy and bothers them, right? So that's how everyone became the same zombie. That's why it's important to get uh, guys doing something else besides trying to get, force people to look at them. When they don't want to look at each other, and they have nothing to look at, no one to look, and so they force you to and they make everyone do it. So that's a key part of this. So, but if they have to sort of uh, touch their head or face or spaz out to, to respond and to, to communicate, then it's hard to do anything else. So that becomes what they do with people they know until they can't pay attention to each other much, and they do it near strangers and try and force them to put up with it. So that's an issue. 
as you can see, filming on the way here, you know, the sort of, you know, a couple of dozen or so. So here, getting an idea. All right, at ease, how you doing? Hello. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. Party, party, party. All right. All right, all right, all right. Thank you for acquitting yourselves well. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you. All right. Some nice, polite, patriotic Canadians. Not the rude, sketchy, zombie kind. Make you put up with them. Uh, make it hard to do anything else than bother strangers. Make more. But uh, polite, patriotic Canadians. But if you compare on the walk up here, the whole bunch of people can't do much else with each other, can't do much else with strangers. You know, there's a definite difference. So, excuse me. All right. So there you go. Looks to be 50 to 100 people here, you know, ballpark around here. And uh, for a day this cold and windy and crappy and haily, it's not too bad. All right. Oh, hello, excuse me. How you doing? Woo! All right. Put this camera away, shut off the tunes, and switch to the GoPro and see if we can catch some other stuff. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Stupid hail! Stupid bullshit! There you go, that was pretty intense. Pretty intense. <laughs> All right. How are you doing? Uh, yeah, once they get worked up and force you to put up with them, force you to look at them. Again, if it's not your wife or your girlfriend, and uh, don't get involved, politely ignore it. If it's yours, and say what's wrong or whatever, it's, you know, you can talk about it later. If they just do that near you and they make it hard to do anything else, you have to do it back. So you can't do much except back rude and sketchy with each other. And then you go right to your strangers trying to bother them when you can't pay attention to them. That's the problem. Stop that. They like being around the crowd. Stop. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. Nobody likes it. You both feel bad. Everyone's putting up with it. Take attention to it. That's why you have to force people to see it worked up. And so, a major issue. But, what? It starts snowing like crazy out here. Okay, so that. But, for the record, BK from Manforce.com, Manforce Media here at Queens Park, 12 15 p.m. Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Hope this helps and talk to you soon. Cheers.